All right, we're being asked to simplify this expression, uh, y to the fourth over y to the fourth raised to the sixth power. Uh, there's a couple different ways of doing this. Um, I'm going to um, just kind of go straight with the rules of exponents. First and foremost, whenever I have a situation here where I'm raising something in, with an exponent to an exponent, the rule says multiply those exponents together. So the first part of simplification, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write y to the fourth over y to the 24th. All right, now here is where you could choose two different options, um, two main different options to attack this. What I'm going to do is apply the quotient rule of exponents. And what that says is I can simplify this expression by subtracting these exponents from each other. Take 4 and subtract 24 from that. If I apply that, what I'll get is y to the negative 20. And again, negative 20 is what I get when I take 4 minus 24. Though, whenever you're simplifying exponential expressions, you can't answer with negative exponents. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the property of negative exponents. I'm going to apply this negative, which means reciprocal, um, and write that in this form. y to the negative 20th actually means 1 over y to the 20th. And this is the final simplified expression. Um, just to make one point, to go back to what would an alternative method have been to get from this point to this point, what you could do instead is think about this as canceling common factors, to where I cancel four of the y's on top with four of the y's on bottom. When I do that, I'd be left with just a 1 in the numerator, and if I canceled 4 of the y's in the denominator, I would get a y to the 20th. And you can see that that gives me my answer straight away. Either one of those methods would work in this case.